uh, just to let you know, I've been doing a bit of sorting out this weekend, so Brian has been helping me. So, although it's by no means finished, I'll give you a quick, and I mean quick, um, tour. Okay, so this was always here. So this is all of the storage. It goes all the way up there. That bit at the top is a bit newer, though. All the way down here. All the way around. All up here. Sorry for making you dizzy. All the way round. Then there's a separate desk. So when Brian is here and he's crafting with me, he uses that desk, although it's usually clear. This is my desk. Okay. Um, that you can see that this has always been here as well. So the desks have always been here, but they're covered in stuff. And the idea is to kind of clean it all up a bit. And I'll show you the bit that has been focused on this weekend. So this is the bit that we have been working at, working with. So that's my cricket machine. My brother machine is out, outside. Um, there used to be that, that bookcase used to be down here. And it used to be a bit messier, and now it's all been sorted out. And all of my finished stuff is at the top, except for a couple of things that are scattered around. So there you go. Very brief. Um, so it's all starting to get a bit tidier, because um, I do so many different things, and I've got to, it's got to be nice and tidy and clean for when I do lives, because nobody wants to see a messy, cluttered desk, do they? So today we are going to make this. We're going to twist and pop, twist and pop, twist and pop. Okay. Um, anybody that's ever seen um, Legally Blonde, bend and snap, twist and pop. So <laughs> I've just watched myself do twist and pop, and it's just <laughs> what and <I'm> Pratt. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do this. Oh, hello. I'll turn myself down because I, I don't need to hear myself. I hear enough. Anyway, so this is what we're going to make. Really easy. Honestly, I promise you, simplified it as much as I possibly can. It's a little bit more complicated than the other one. I know it doesn't look as complicated, but it's slightly more complicated because the scoring and cutting and, you know, getting the, sh the sizes right. Because if you don't, it won't work. Can't help you. <laughs> if you don't measure it right and you don't put it all in the right places, it won't work. Okay, so I am going to do it. Okay, shiny head. Nobody wants to see it anymore. Okay, let's get let's get you over here. Ba, 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 ba. I'm sorry if you feel dizzy. There's not a lot that I can do, <laughs> but I'll sing to you. With a really bad singing voice. Okay. So, you can see the mat. You can see the mat, indeed. You can. You can see my instructions as well. I've got my instructions because even I need the instructions to do these things. Okay, so what are you going to need? So, you are going to need initially three pieces of card. Okay, so that's what I've got here. And you've noticed these aren't scored or pre-done because I'm going to do it live with you. Very often you'll see somebody do a tutorial and they've got it all scored up and they say and you do it here and you do it here and you do it here and then like you get a bit confused okay I'm going to do it with you. You're going to do going to need for the outside of the card okay, where's my initial card so this outside bit so your actual card you can use a six by six card that's fine you can use one that's pre-made up to you or you can use a 12 by 6 piece of card and scored on the 6 inch line along the long side okay so that's your outside of the card you then need I'll come to the mechanism in a minute a panel that is 11 so 11 this way obviously by 3 and 3 quarters this way and we're talking inches again okay and then you need to then Score it on the two and three quarter line, the five and a half and the eight and a quarter. Okay, and that gives you these score lines. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it 
try and line it up a bit. Keep it nice and square when you're folding it. Fold it initially in half and then fold, if you're thinking about it being a bird, fold its wings down. Okay, which will create you an M, okay? And then you also need an eight and a eight by three and a half, so eight by three and a half piece of card that you mark either with a notch or a pencil at two and a quarter. You score at four, that's this line down here, which goes and it folds it in half. And then you notch or mark a line at five and three quarters, and that gives you this mark here. Then you flip it over and you do exactly the same. Notch or mark at two and a half, score at four, notch or mark at five and three quarters. And that will give you a mark here. Then you score a line between those notches or marks that you've made. You fold all of those scores and you also put a score line across the short edge at one and three quarters, okay? So, and that's what gives you all of this. Okay, so that's the mechanism, that's the panels, and that's the, the card. You will also need some decorative panels. So on here, as you can see, we've got the outside decorative panel, we've got two inside decorative panels, and then we've got the panels on the pop mechanism. So for that, you will need some decorative card. So I've cut some up here. And you need three, which are th this one and the two interfacing panels. You'll need three of those, okay? And those three um, need to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And that will just give you a nice um, matted um, step, okay? You'll also need for the panels inside, so that's this bit. Okay, those are three and a half, okay, by two and a half, okay, and you need four of those to go on the four panels. Okay, so I've put those ready for me, okay, and I've got my card here to do. So I'm going to do it with you, okay, so are you with me? I don't know whether you're with me, are you, or are you with the Woolwich? If, you, if you're not in from the UK or you're under 40, I don't think anybody will ever know, know what that means. So, okay, so I've got my 12 by 6 card, okay? Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it on the 6 inch line just to give me my hand side. And you know what happens. Remember, what if we form a valley, what does a valley become? A mountain okay so you've turned it into a valley and so you're going to bend it this way it now becomes a mountain okay just, just you're going to be sick of me saying that okay next piece i'm going to take is the pop mechanism bit i'm going to take this and i'm just going to take my my instructions as you know you might have made that cake several thousand times but you still need your instructions ready okay so this piece of paper, remember, is the one that is 11, so 11 this way, by three and a half, sorry, three and three quarters this way, okay? And what you're going to do is you're now going to score it at the two and three quarter mark, which is this one, <laughs> just happens to be marked with a black marker, but from another project, not this one, you're going to score on there. Don't press too hard if you're using card, because what you end up doing is piercing, okay? You just putting a line on um, then you're going to mark it at five and a half okay so that's this line here okay and then we're going to mark it at eight and a quarter so this is this is eight and here we have the quarter line don't we trying to see need some new glasses I think um, the eight and a quarter line there okay so remember what we're going to do with this is we're going to fold it in half initially okay line it up nicely and we're going to make that crease 
Yeah, and then we're gonna, like a bird, we're gonna fold its wings down. Okay, so fold this side down and make it nice and square, and fold this side down and make it nice and square, and remember you'll get an M. Okay, or a W. Okay. Or you could have an E, I don't know. It's up to you. Okay. Don't want to put my scoreboard away for because I'm gonna need that in a second, okay? Next, we need to take this piece of card. This one is the eight this way by three and a half this way. Bring my scoreboard back in, okay? And now we're going to score this one. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna score it at four. Okay, which is the halfway point because it's eight. Yeah, and we're gonna flip it round and we're gonna score it at I can't remember. <laughs> one and three quarters. Yeah, one and three quarters, because that's also the halfway mark. Okay. So we've got those, we're not going to fold it just yet. Then we're going to put that down because we've, we've used that now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a mark, okay, using a pencil. And you can do it on your scoreboard. You can make just make a little tiny notch there if you want to. If you have a ruler with inches as being the priority, but never mind. Okay, so we're going to score it. Okay, sorry, we're going to make a marking, okay, at two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. And the only reason why I'm doing it this side is because the inches happen to be on that side of the ruler. So at two and a quarter. Yeah. And then we're going to do it at five and three quarters. So five and three quarters. Okay. Then you're going to flip it over. You're going to do exactly the same. Same measurements in the same places. No, nothing different. Two and a quarter and five and three quarters. Okay. Now. When you're gonna, so I now I need to score, but I'm gonna score without the aid of a safety net. No, without a <laughs> without a um, scoreboard because it's really hard to do a, a diagonal score on a scoreboard. Okay, so I'm doing it freehand. So I've got a ball tool, okay, or a scoring tool, or whatever you want to use. You can use one of oh, hello, you can use one of these. You can use one of these, you can use whatever you like, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up from that that notch there to your other notch going diagonally, and what you may need to make sure is it, it intersects that line there, okay? That cross in the middle. Because that's a good guide to whether you've got it in the right place or not. And it does, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm using this, this is a piece of neoprene, um, and all I'm doing using this for is because it's got a bit more give than a glass mat. Okay. So then you're going to, so by the way, just turning around, because I've done this a few times, I thought, why can't I do the other one? Because you'd need to turn it that way around to be able to do the other one, unless you're ambidextrous, in which case, you know, you might not to need to spin it around so much. So you're going to mark it there, making sure again, it crosses the intersection. Okay doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be accurate, you're not forming the Union Jack, but as long as it's somewhere near. Okay, so now all you need to do is you need to crease. Okay, so fold this over in half, and this is a good way to check that you've got your lines in the right place, so make sure it lines up. Okay, and if it doesn't, just give it a, give it a bit of a, an encouragement to line up, you know. Give it a bit of praise, it might do it. And then make sure that you've got your creases are nice and burnished, okay? Because that's that'll help the mechanism to work nicely, okay? And then you're gonna fold it in half on the other score line. Are you with me? Are we are we doing okay now? Okay, so again, in half and score it. On that line, make a nice, make it nice and burnished. That's what all you need to do. Now, for some reason, I've managed to pick up a bit of dirt from somewhere. Oh, there you go. 
in this house that's quite possible to do have a dog so where you've scored if you now fold the the paper it will fold nicely on that line okay but what you just need to do is you just need to encourage it to be a bit squarer again burnish that line it's all about the burnishing and then of course guess what you're going to do yep you're going to do the other line okay so again we're going to fold it it's harder to do the last line because all the other folds want to do the folding for you okay so fold that side and then fold that side okay and then just make sure nice and square yeah and then burnish that line okay now just going to move this out of the way my neoprene it's the only time you'll ever see me with neoprene you won't see me diving or anything like that now what you want to do is you just want to fold back on all of those creases and burnish them so if you folded it that way initially fold it that way okay and the same with all of them and what that does is it just loosens up the mechanism and makes it move nicely okay just like you know when we made the slider card and i showed you last week and um, we i said about folding and you know sorry about um using silicon to just lubricate the the mechanism it, this is the the equivalent of the silicon you're just burnishing all of those lines so all of this kind of just does its thing naturally okay so the next thing you want to do is you you just need to take it okay so that you have a finger on on one crease on one side and a finger on the other crease on the other side so like this yeah and then push those down and fold it towards yourself okay and then what you'll do is you'll create what looks like like a little house or it could be a aeroplane or whatever and now's it time to re-burnish all of those creases now that you've folded it this way okay if you have a step difference don't worry about it okay honestly it, it happens because of how you fold things okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our card that we made so not that one because that's the one with all the mark all the tutorial details on okay we're going to go back to our card okay and now we're going to decorate it because you need to decorate it first otherwise it makes it really hard to do it afterwards so decide what you're going to have on the front so i think I don't, know, I don't know whether I want those or I want the other. Right, I might have that, that on the front rather than that. I'm thinking that. I'm going a bit darker. Okay. Or do I want that because it picks up the green? Oh, I'm going to have this. I'm like decisive. Don't ask me to be decisive. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm rubbish. Don't take me to a restaurant for a start. Not if you want to eat within the next century. So. So I'm just using a bit of wet glue. You can use wet glue or you can use, um, well, you can use glue that comes out. It's a really good one to use. So you can either use wet glue, you can use a, um, a stick glue, yeah, or you can use Fabri-Tac or whatever you like, okay? You're just gluing the panels down for the for a start. Don't take something out of a pot, Dave, and then try and get it back in live, okay? So this, I'm just gluing it, making sure I catch all the edges. You know, you just don't want to catch the edges. When somebody opens it, I get all excited because it's all a mechanical card. Okay, so oh no, don't send them a, a card with a with the where the flowers are lying down. Those, those flowers were so tired they had to lie down because they're on their side. Um, <laughs> done it before. <laughs> Stuck panels on the wrong side, or yeah, it it happens. Okay, we all make mistakes. Don't worry about it. Okay, so on the inside, I think I'm going to have these. Okay, so gluing down here. So this is the card that I made for um, 
my, I don't know what to call him, my partner, boyfriend. Um, I don't know, because like we're only like, we've met once, we've chatted a few, quite a long time, met once, and we met on, um, online, but then we met in person before Christmas, before lockdown, um, and we've had a couple of virtual dates since. So, you know, and we, you know, we're very interested in each other. So, does this have a right way up, or does it not? Okay, we'll go with this as being the right way up. Sorry if my bonds is in camera. So yeah, I made him something similar to this. It's a twist and pop card, just the different dimensions. But I did this one because this is the easiest version. Okay, the others get really complicated with like fractions of inches and that sort of thing. So. And most people like a, a six by six card. Oh, don't glue off the edge, Dave. All the way down, all the way round. Yeah, so I'm, this is what I made him. It was Christmas. I sent him a Christmas card. So, so yes. That's got a bit embarrassed now. <laughs> a bit, bit giddy as well. Got another date today. So, a virtual date, obviously. Can't, you can't do anything other than virtual dates these days. Okay, so... Do we, did we decide it had a way up? Well, I, I decided this was the way up. A up, it's the way up. Yeah, that's fine. Just giving myself a nice border. You, I, you guys know what to do with regarding this. Oh, except for Dave, that wasn't a very good, that was a very well lined up. Can you pull it? Can you pull it? Can you pull it off, maybe? Yeah. There we go. Sorry, don't know why I had to be like really um, perfect on, on camera. Okay. So, they're, they're all of our panels. That's going to be our card, okay? And then, no, not that one. This one is the one we're going to put on the, the pop side of the panel. Okay, where are they? There we are. And again, wet glue, tape, whatever you, you choose. I'm, I'm not your, I'm not your father. I'm not telling you what to do. Get out of that tree. Um, I have enough to tell to do with telling Worcester what he needs to do. So, again, just line it up, and you should get a nice with the measurements I've given you. You should get a nice little border round. You know, if you want to do something different, you don't want to put panels on. You just want to put letters. I mean, it's great if you're sending it to somebody. Um, with four letters in their name or you know you want to put a four letter word in be careful a four letter word be careful what you say don't send people cards with those kind of four letter words i know what some of you are like cheeky so if any of you send me a card and it says any of those words in it <laughs> i'll be sorry i even mentioned it so again you should get a nice border on your panels I try I do try to get them lined up but like you know I don't know it doesn't always happen and it's really much harder to do live so again it's um you know I I like using wet glue that's is one of my preferred ones oh by the way if anybody saw me do my live on crap that I did on my own channel crafty moves the other the other day um, and where is it? This glue was the star of the show because when I shook it, I wasn't holding the bottle, I was holding the lid and it came off and it went everywhere and like, it just literally like pulled everywhere. In fact, the, the dribble that fell on the floor is, is here. So, um, but it all went down me, all over my jeans, all over, it hasn't come out because it's it's PVA and I didn't you know didn't get to it in time. I did soak it straight in water but it just didn't get to it. Um it hasn't come out of my trousers but it came out of my shirt. But the thing that was the biggest problem is this is probably too much information for you, but I'm quite hairy. And it had soaked right the way through my shirt onto me and I was ever so slightly matted well I say ever so slightly I'm I still like 
it dries like plastic basically that's what pva does um and yeah so i'm kind of like coated in, <laughs> in plastic it took ages like i watched scrubbed and scrubbed to make myself sore actually scrubbing so yeah that's the problems of being hairy it's like um Jodie what's her face from tonic used to put glue on here to be able to like get like little tiny details and dab it on and I tried that and I realized just how I've made it myself bald in those places now because the hair just doesn't want to grow back now okay anyway shut up Dave get on with it okay so there you go so they they panels that's going to go inside so I've tried to kind of coordinate with the green on that not a big card maker i like to put these kind of things into journals so remember the junk journal i showed you last week it had this style twist and pop in it it's brilliant for adding a bit of interest to your journals okay so now what we do is we get the mechanism okay the mechanism doesn't have any panels because you technically you're not going to see it okay um if it doesn't line up just nip it off I'm going to use a pair of scissors or started putting my blade in the cork now because one of these days I'm going to lose a finger searching for it. Brian thinks that because like I'm like, where is it? And that's not a good way to find it. So, <laughs> well, you know, you're going to, you're definitely going to find it, aren't you? Now what you want to do is you just want to make sure that these panels fold the right way, which is you're going to create an M from the back or a W from the front. So what I mean by that is if you look at it with the panel showing, OK, it should create this shape, which is a W. OK, but if you look at it from the back, it should create an M. OK, so you want it to be W'd. Make sure it's nice and, and creased. OK, and then what you need to do is... You just need to make sure that you don't glue too far up, okay? So um, the measurement for that is one and a quarter. So don't go any further up with your glue than one and a quarter inches from the bottom, okay? So you might want to put a little mark on it. You're not going to see this mark, by the way. And just say to yourself, don't glue over that line, okay? Because you'll stop it working otherwise. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to glue it. Now how you're going to glue it is entirely up to you. If you're going to use wet glue, you've got to leave it to set and dry. Do not try and go in there, bull in a china shop style, and you know, let's see if it works and it all comes apart in your hands. Okay, so I'm going to use some tape, okay, for speed. Because I've told you before, nobody wants to see me. Well, nobody wants to watch me whilst glue is drying. That's worse than paint drying. Here on the BBC, we have two hours of paint drying, followed by an hour of glue drying. Okay, so by the way, where you're going to stick it is always the same. So if you flip it over like this, you're not going to do this side this time. You're going to st still do the top. So sticky on the top sticky on the top okay that's the bit that confuses some people and then you, they think why doesn't it open it's because you've glued it in the wrong places so sticky and then sticky i had an accident with this yesterday as well so perhaps i'm not designed for craft because I'm just i just everything just sticks to me so or I'm just, it's just my personality, it just wants to hang around with me all the time, that's why. So, please don't take the back of your sticky off with a knife. I only do it because I've done it before. Okay, if you, if you think that, you know, you might lose something. A finger, a loved one, I don't know. The will to live, I don't know, whatever it is. Okay, don't use it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to glue this. Okay, right, just a 
just need to have a moment while I think about this because I'm I'm a bit giddy about on by myself. Yeah, it's that way. Yeah. So make sure the openings face out. And then what you need to do is you need to lift this other leg up, okay, and you're gonna put this in to here. But what you want to do is you want to eye it, eyeball it. So you've got basically the same amount of overhang at the top here as you have at the bottom you're just going to eyeball it. it doesn't it's not you know you don't have to get your measurements out don't go any further than that that line remember okay and problem with tape is once it's down it's down it ain't coming off so that's that's roughly equal the overhang here is the sim the overhang here so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to flip this back over onto itself so that i can just take this tape off oh hello let's argue with the tape come on tape wrestling on the bbc okay um I don't know why I'm fascinated by the BBC. I, apparently, I have a voice for the BBC. People think that I've... Well, Brian thinks I've got a posh accent, but I don't think so. I was brought up in Coventry. I'm definitely not posh. So, okay. And then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to put that into there. Okay, so that should sit in there. Okay, so now you've got your... You've basically got your pop action. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, so now you're going to stick it in. Okay, to so keep it like that. Okay, it looks like a bit of a weird. Whoa, knife juggling. That's another thing. Don't juggle with knives. Don't run with knives either. And don't put. I was always told not to run with it, like cutlery in my mouth. So don't run with the spoon in my mouth or anything like that. Because if I fall, it's going to go right down my throat, which terrified me as a child. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line there just so that I know where to aim for. You're not going to see this so it doesn't matter. You can put this in yourself okay and what you want to do is you want to get your point near that line and try and get this kind of squared off with the rest of it okay. So you need to put some glue or something down here. Remember if you're going to use glue you've got to wait for it to dry okay. So I'm going to use tape. So I'm sorry, but you've got to watch me tape something. So I'm going to use my... I've got a pair of scissors now dedicated to sticky. Sticky scissors. Not every pair of scissors like it used to be. Okay, it's like when you cut this sticky tape, they always get horrible, horribly gooed. Okay, you can, you can get that off with... Um, I use a product called Goo Gone. Um, not dugong, they're things that swim in the sea. It's a song about dugongs, and now it's in my head. So you don't want me to sing it. You don't want me to sing. If I could sing, I wouldn't be crafting. Um, <laughs> but I can't sing, so you're lucky I'm here. Okay, so again just making sure that you've got a nice amount of glue on it you don't it's you're not you know building the Taj Mahal you don't need to make sure it's like going to withstand several hundred years you just need to put a decent amount on so that it doesn't come apart and you need to put a decent amount on because it doesn't so it doesn't come apart because what people do is they're like they've never seen one before they do this and then they do And then you know that's if you haven't glued it properly that's when your your crafting literally comes apart when crafting turns dangerous do, do, do. that's a discovery channel special that one i don't know don't ask me my brain is all over the place today anybody that knows me will know that this is how my brain works you either like it or you don't so um and I don't always like it, but I have to live with it, so. I 
I don't know whether it's anything to do with my autism or it's just to do with the fact that, um, I don't know, I'm crazy, maybe. Get past that. Oh no, now we've got the... I don't know what to give it to. You know when you give somebody a sticky bit because you can't get it off of you and then they've got it stuck to them. Anyway, back to this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'm going to take these bits off. helps if you've got good eyesight and you're actually taking the back of the, the tape off. If you've got the easy lift stuff then even better. Okay so now what I'm going to do is this is the sticky side is, is down. I'm just going to hold on to the card so that it looks so I can place it and, it, and then try and get it nice and straight. Okay so that bit is down. It's going nowhere now. Now you don't have to worry about this side because all you're going to do is you're going to take your sticky off this side. This side and oops, make sure it sticks down first. Yeah, and then you, all you're going to do is you're going to hold this down a bit and fold your card over onto it and give it a rub, give it a squeeze and give it a try. Okay, so <laughs> there you go, that's your... Oh. You need to get it going a bit and then give it to someone. So there you go, that's your twist and pop card. Okay, wow, 35 minutes to do a twist and pop card. Now, I've, I'm going to send one of these, it's my um aunties um how old is she she's going to be 94 i believe 94 i think um in, on the 22nd of january so i'm going to send her one of these and her name is mary so i've got all the panels i need i can put mary on it um, obviously, you know, if you've got a four four letter word to put in there, be careful. Remember what I've said about you know your you and your four letter words. Okay, um, you can put you know Mary or something in there. You could put you know Dave would fit nicely in there. You know, just saying, just saying. You know, I did help you, so it's like just sorry. Um, <laughs> if you want to send me a card, you can send me a card. Um, be careful though. Like you know, the other four letter words I don't want in there. Um, but obviously, you can put you could put something else, you could just put happy birthday to you on each panel, or you know, whatever you want to put on there. You could just put some nice pictures, you can put your, your message at the top, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's just you know, it's great for a Valentine's Day card because you can put love on there because that's obviously four letter word. Um, so you know. You, the only reason why I made it in white is because it was easier for you guys to see um, me do. They fit nicely into an envelope and they also, in the UK, they also um, are classed as a, as a letter because they're not too thick. They'll go through a post box. So um, they're nice cards to send. You know, we need to send a few more cards these days, don't we? Because people are having a bit of like, you know, like a rough time we're all having a bit of a rough time at the moment so you know send some more cards make some more cards i need to make some more cards i know that i need to make some more cards i've become a pro prolific junk journaler but not many cards so like i say all it is is one piece of paper or oh, sorry card and i used a, a decently thick piece of card because it's the outside of it okay it will you'll also thicken it up by adding panels on it anyway but i used something that was 280 uh, it was 280 was it gsm this one um it was 12 by 6 or you can just use a pre-made you know one of those six by six card bases that you get okay and then the inner workings i use 240 gsm just because they need to be a bit more flexible so you know if it gets if it's too bulky it doesn't it doesn't maneuver very well and you kind of it, you end up catching a lot so if you do this really slowly it'll catch yeah or you bend the card in it'll catch so 
but with a, a, a big thick substrate it will catch anyway okay so I used 240 for both of these internal panels this one is 11 by three and three quarters scored at two and three quarters five and a half and eight and a quarter and then this piece is the mechanism itself which is eight and eight by sorry three and a half with a mark or a notch at two and a quarter a score line at four and a mark or a notch at five and three quarters turn it round and do the same measurements along that edge as well turn it to the short side and then you're going to score at one and three quarters the score lines you fold first and then you create a score line by connecting the two one and a sorry the two two and a quarter lines and then the two five and three quarter lines and they should intersect in the middle and then just make sure that you fold and burnish all of those lines nicely fold it backwards and forwards on all of them and that's your mechanism remember when you when you're folding it together you take it the what it'll want to fold one way more naturally so take it push your finger down in the middle and bend it towards yourself that creates a nice little house in the middle not a little house on the prairie but a little house in the middle and then you burnish all of those make sure that all of that works nicely your mechanism is all sorted and remember measure up one and a quarter inches and don't glue across that line but make sure the card butts up against that one and a quarter line okay and that's it so like I say, it's a little bit more complicated than the slider card. And who knew that the slider card that has so much like wow factor to it was easier than this. But they're all easy. I am telling you now, they are easy if you let your mind think I can do it. If you think I can't do it, you are absolutely right. Okay, You are the master of your own ability. Okay, So Worcester's just come in and he agrees. Okay, so he's coming for a bit of a, a fuss and a, a tummy tickle um, and a wag to knock things over. Okay, do you want to come up? No? Okay, no, he's, he's shy today. He's under the table. I think there's a crisp under there. So um, that's it. We've, we've done it. So it took, it didn't even take 40 minutes. It only took 40 minutes because I've been waffling. So you absolutely can do it. I am telling you now, I am a big believer in you know the power of your of yourself if you think you can't do it you know, do something you can't and if you think you can you can and if you if it doesn't work out the first time you'll keep trying until you can okay this is really easy hopefully my tutorial has helped you i do try to be quite you know helpful without hopefully without being too patronizing um i'd hate to be patronizing so give it a go and if you do let me know tag me in Put it in the feed, put it in the junk journal feed, say, you know, that, you know, I, I inspired you or you gave it another go. Or you've tried to make one before or whatever it is and show me what you've made because I really, really would appreciate that. And if anybody wants to follow me on my YouTube, this will be uploaded to my YouTube, then do so. And if you want to know what that is, message me and I will tell you. OK, so that's it. We're done. So it's, it was only, I know, Worcester, I'm going to come and give you a fuss now. I'm talking to people here. I know you think I'm talking to myself. Come on then. Worcester, oh, Worcester's come in for a, for a bit of a, a love. He wants to make this card. Do you want to make this card? You need your nails cutting. So, you want to make this card? No? Later, maybe? Crafting with Worcester? So... Have a lovely day, people. Remember, I love you without exception. My name's Dash of Dave, also known as Crafty Moose. Um, I love you without exception until you give me a reason not to. Have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time of day it is with you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you all. Big crafty hugs because we all need a few more hugs now. I'm rubbing your back now. Can you feel it? I'm rubbing your back. Okay, take care, folks. See you soon. Bye. I'm going to sing to you while I turn it off. And now I'm going to turn it off.